and we are back. Hello everyone, welcome back to 5 Minute Code channel where I will be explaining the solution of every problem of Lead Code and Geeks for Geeks within less than 5 minutes. Okay, so today's problem of the day of Geeks for Geeks is a split array largest sum, which is a hard level problem. And I also think it's not, if not hard, so it's a medium and hard between. Okay, and if you know binary search in a, like if you have practiced a lot of binary search problem, then it will be very easy. But if you haven't solved it, don't worry, I'm here and I'm going to explain you in a very crisp and short way. Okay, so all right, let's find out what's going on in this problem. So a split array larger sum. Here what we will be given, we will be given an int array, okay, of size n, and we will be given one integer k as well. So what we have to do, we have to divide array, my array, into k subarrays, okay. I have to divide my array arr into k subarrays such that the sum of like the I have divided the array into k subarrays and the maximum subarray sum should be minimum. Okay, come on one more time. Suppose I have divided the array into like if we will see dash dash case. So I have to divide this one, two, three, four into three subarrays. Okay, and we have to divide it in such a way that the maximum sum between of between these subarrays should be minimized. So if look, my correct answer will be what one, two, three, and four. So here the maximum sum is what four. Okay, which is minimized. So if I will check, and we have to return the minimum sum. Okay, so maximum sum of all subarrays is four and uh, which is minimum possible for three splits so we cannot have a minimum sum less than four okay for three splits so if you will find out like let's say i took one and then two three and then four so still the maximum sum is four and if i took this one two oh sorry if i took one two and three four so maximum sum is what seven which is more than four okay so in this way we will find out that four will be my answer so now the question is how are we going to solve it so i have written something for you let's quickly jump onto the notes section Okay, so let's first of all find out why we will be using binary search here because a lot of guys complain that uh, we are not able to find out how binary search will be applied. Okay, so if we will be given, let's say, 1, 2, 3, 4, this is my sub array. array. So, what can be my minimum possible sub? Minimum possible sub for any test case will be equal to the maximum number of that array, 4. Okay, for k equal to n, let's say for k equal to n, my k equal to 4. So, uh, we have to divide the, this four length array into four sub arrays okay such that and we have to return the maximum sum of that okay we have to return the maximum sum of that array so one array will be one another will be two another will be three and another will be four so what's the maximum sum between them maximum sum is four okay so we will return it so in that case my low will be look like it means ki my low can never my answer can never be less than the maximum number of array okay maximum number of array so first point is clear low now high suppose suppose my array okay what can be maximum possible so so for suppose let's k equal to one so for k equal to one we don't need to divide the array we have to just return the sum of array okay because whole sub array will be only one and that will be like the whole of the array because we cannot skip any of the numbers so it will be whole so what will be my high high will be sum of all elements of array and my answer cannot exceed it so i have got my low i have got my high and my answer will be between this low and high maximum possible sum which should be minimum will be between this low and high and now it's a perfect binary case because we know the range we have the range low and high and we just have to find out the sum okay so now how are we going to do this look first of all i will simply find out the mid and check and check if we can divide my array into k parts okay such that sum is not greater than mid so i've got my range first of all I've, I've i will try to find out my mid and i will check if i can divide the sub array i can divide this array into k sub arrays such that the sum is not exceeding mid okay if yes so i will do what i will okay i will check okay so like my answer will be now mid for now okay it cannot be less than it cannot be greater than now i can my sum which we have to minimize we have to minimize the sum first of all so with the sum which we have to minimize can it be less than the mid so i will do what i will do high i will do high equal to mid minus one okay and otherwise if my sum is greater than so i will do what low equal to mid plus one and i think if you know binary search if you have done a simple binary search program so you know how mid like low and high changes according to the mid okay so let's uh, do a try then for this low equal to four for this because i've already explained for k equal to n so my answer will be always cannot be less than four and cannot be less greater than high which is the sum of array okay so i will try to find out the my mid mid will be what 14 7 okay so what we have to do we have to divide this array into k parts Okay, such that the sum should not be greater than seven. So I will do what? I will take one, I can take two, I can take three, I can take my sum is still three, two, three, one, two, three, six, okay, and four. So four, I cannot take four because my sum will be greater than seven. So I will be doing this two. So I have divide, I can divide this into two parts. 
It's easily I can divide it into two parts. So if I can divide it into two parts with m equal to seven, so I can easily divide it into three parts as well. Okay. I think you are getting. I think you are getting this. Okay. So now my m equal to seven, and this is achievable. Okay. If m equal to seven, I can divide that into k equal to three. So now what I will do? I will decrease my high equal to seven minus one. That is six. Okay. And low is equal to four. Same. Now again, let's find out mid. Mid equal to six, four, ten, five. Mid equal to five. Okay, so I will check. Can I divide this array into k parts, three, such that my sum is less than five? So I will check. Check one. Okay, two. Okay, three. If I will take three into one sub array, so my sum will be six. One, two, three, six, which is not possible. So I will do what? I will divide this array into this sub array, and then three, and then four. Okay. So yeah, it is still possible. I can divide the array into three sub parts, and my sum will not be greater than five. Okay. So what I will do? I will decrease my high further. So high equal to m equal to five minus one. That is four. Four. So I will now check for four. Can we do it for four as well, guys? So again, I will check. Look, one, two, three. So I cannot include three. One, two, one sub array. And after that, three. So I will take three. Now if I will take four as well, so my sum will be greater than four, which is not possible. So three, and again four. Okay. So k equal to three, which is still possible. So again, what I will do? M equal to h equal to m minus one. That is three. So now in this case, my low will be greater than high, and we will be like escaping our binary search loop. And I will return my answer, which was the previous mid, that is h equal to four. So I will return four. I think with this dry run, you will be getting. So you can take any number. You can take one, two, three, four, five. You can take a dry run of this one, two, three, four, five, and k equal to three, and you will find out that yeah, it's working. It's working. Okay. So now let's jump quickly, jump to the code section and write the code for it, which is going to be a proper binary search code. Okay. All right. Okay, so let's write the code for it. But before that, if you have loved the approach and explanation, please don't forget to subscribe because 99% of the viewers are not subscribing. So if you will subscribe, it will motivate me a lot. Okay, now back to the question. So I will be doing first of all getting the low and high. So int low equal to what? Low will be the maximum of my array. So in, if you know, uh, we have got something like arrays dot stream which has come in Java 8 of ARR. And uh, I will try to get the max, okay. And I will be converting it into int as uh, this return in in integer. So I will try to convert it into it, okay. Now my high, okay. So if you don't know this, so you can try getting the lowest number by iterating all the array, but it's same. Now high equal to arrays dot stream arr dot sum, okay. That's it. And I will take one more variable answer equal to zero. So if you know this, it's great and it's a cool way to show the interviewer as well that yeah, I know it. Okay, I know Java it as well. So please learn it, it's very easy. Now, simple binary search while L is less than equal to H. I will keep on iterating. I will get my mid equal to L plus H by two. Oh, sorry. Okay, and after that, I will check. I will make a function check. And if look, I will pass what mid, I will pass. I will pass my ARR and I will pass K. So it means that if I can divide my sub array, my array ARR into K sub arrays such that the sum is less than mid. Okay. Sum of each sub array is less than mid. It means uh, my answer can be mid. Okay. I can return mid, but I have to minimize it more. So to minimize it more, we, what we do in binary search, we will simply do H equal to mid minus one. Okay. And otherwise I will do, you all know what we are going to do. L equal to mid plus one. So uh, yeah, it's a, it's a basic binary search. Okay. And at last, when I will come out this, I will simply return answer. All right. So now the only thing which is remaining is to write this check function. So let's quickly write it static. It will be Boolean check and all the C++ guys. I don't think it will be a bit tough to you because everything is same. Language is no barrier now in TRR and in K. Okay. All right. So my current total will be one and my sum equal to zero at this point. So I will keep on iterating i equal to zero. I is less than arr dot length. I plus I will try to submit this in first time only today. Okay. Sum plus equal to arr of i. And if my sum is greater than mid, okay. If my current sum is greater than mid, it means I have to divide the array. Okay. So sum divide the array means sum equal to arr of i and my total is plus plus which means now we have two sub arrays okay so it will keep on going and at last if if my total sub arrays is less than equal to k it means it means uh, uh, this is fine check is true so we uh, we have got my answer 
and now we will be minimizing it with h equal to omega minus 1 okay and if my total of sub arrays is greater than k it means ki we cannot have we cannot have some we cannot have this mid as our answer because with this mid with this sum we are not able to divide the arrays into k sub array okay all right all right all right great uh, let's try to submit it then and please god let it be submitted in first time today meanwhile if you have loved the solution if you have loved the explanation don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video let's submit it directly no okay no oh, okay k is uh, i have used k is small it's capital okay let's submit it again it's running fine let's submit it okay so if you have loved the solution please don't forget to like share and subscribe and i hope it gets passed every test cases yeah great so please subscribe and uh, please let me know if i can do anything better into the comments and i'm gonna surely implement it and till then keep on coding and i'm gonna see you again tomorrow bye